Welcome back to another uh, video that we have today. Today we have the M&P Competitor. This is just not any regular M&P Competitor. As you can see, it is ported. So I just got back from the range. Um, I have some videos. Um, I wish I would have taken a before clip. However, um, I will tell you um, this was a upgrade that was well worth it. So I have a comparison to come next week. Um, between this guy and the Legion, but today we're just going to cover the basics and fundamental fundamentals of this guy. So this is the MMP 2.0 competitor in a two-tone color, and um, it's fairly new. Um, was released not too long ago. Uh, it's a gun that you know there's not very many aftermarket parts for, just because um, people are unsure of its compatibility. But as far as I have seen. These are completely compatible with interchangeability as far as like any 2.0 should fit. Obviously, uh, same caliber permitted. Um, now, the one thing that is really a nuisance about this gun is this magwell. Typically, for people, has been a pain because if you have just regular 17 uh, uh, round or whatever, um, just regular uh, magazines, essentially, they're not going to fit. So you can see this one's got like this base pad on it which i really like aesthetically it looks really nice i really like the look of that however if you have other magazines with the flat base plate that are like on the um, other mmps um they will not fit so you need to have this or if you have the mmp metal those i believe come with a couple um extended magazines as well those fit in here as well so um but for right now i'm just showcasing this guy and the other ones are exactly the same they just have a longer base pad all mmp uh, magazines um to uh begin with so uh all in all i'm very impressed uh so this gun right now i didn't have a ton of time to physically go through everything as far as like a ton of rounds or anything like that but i did put so far um it's probably about 450 rounds i had put about 250 maybe 300 before i sent it off to get the barrel ported um and it just wasn't doing it for me i was happier shooting my glock 19x and as a lot of people know that is a four inch uh barrel the longer the barrel you go the um less felt recoil you're going to feel like if you shoot a three inch versus a five inch barrel you'll know exactly what i'm talking about however this gun had a very interesting mechanism and it was because of the length the velocity and um just you know it being a very light gun this is a 29 ounce gun and um it now it shoots very well but essentially what was happening is when i was shooting before no matter how much pressure i put on it it would have a ton of muzzle flip and it was kind of tiring to the wrist and I enjoyed shooting um, my Glocks better and Glocks are notoriously, you know, you have to muscle them because they're just lighter guns. However, they do have a really low bore axis, which this one doesn't have a high bore axis. You just can't get as high as you could on a Glock. Like on the Glock, it literally, the rails will physically, you know, hit me sometimes right back here. Um, and uh, on this one, you just can't, as you see, it has, you know, pretty, it's not very high. It's not like a SIG with a high bore axis. It just doesn't have exactly a low bore axis, if that makes sense. Um, or I guess as low as a Glock. It definitely does have a lower bore axis, though I would say. But nevertheless, with the five inch barrel, it was, you know, the, the when the, it shoot and this came back, you would really feel it in the wrist. It wasn't a rocking motion like you got like out of the SIG, but it was definitely hard enough to where after, you know, shooting 100, you know, 200 rounds, you're starting to really feel it in your wrist. At least I was, and I shoot a lot. So that was pretty um, humbling for me uh, because I'll go to the range and, you know, my staccato, I'll go there and, and put 750 rounds through, you know, in one session, no big deal. Uh, I'll do 500 rounds through a Glock. I'll do, you know, I've taken my, uh, my Spectre comp and I've done, you know, six, 700 rounds through that at one time, never had an issue up until this gun right here. So uh, I went on Floyd's Customs, and I found this gun and I, or sorry, I had bought the gun. I went on Floyd's Customs for trying to look and see if there was some sort of, um, you know, porting that they could do, especially because they already have lightning cuts. I thought they could port up top here. My worry was the fiber optic and apparently they've had that same issue with melting fiber optics. So interestingly enough, you can, you can tell 
that the gas, even though the slides are on the side, they angle them inwards, downward. So it's really, really different. Um, and I know that when he explained it to me, the guy from Floyd's, he said, this is the best system that they've had. And I completely agree. So, um, and I've kind of noticed the it's not necessarily where they place the cuts, but it's the angle at where, how the gas escapes the, the um, barrel that makes all the difference. So when he was talking to me about that, I agreed because I do have a, um, a uh, MMP Shield Plus Performance Center and the cuts are kind of on the side here and the way they cut it is so that way it comes a little bit up and out. It uh, tries to avoid the sight for one, even though it's up here, but they kind of angled them on the side and it really does um, change how much recoil is felt, like dramatically. And the same thing on this gun. So um, you'll see here shortly, some shooting video so we'll go to that and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about this guy All right, guys, so the testing for the MNP is going really well. So about 60-ish rounds through. Um, the compensator is, it's an understatement. It dramatically works, like really, really well. So uh, we're going to do some accuracy. I kind of was just trying to get it dialed in. You can see there's 15, then past that, like right in the middle of the screen, there's about 21. That's about 35-ish feet. Um, just a little bit past the 30 feet mark. Um, so we're just gonna do a couple groups here and we'll see how it goes. So gonna go for the A, see how close we can get to that. two of them as you can see we're gonna go quick it's about 21 feet uh, center center there where the A is let's see how quick it can go still being accurate of course So it looks like this guy was the only one that I really missed. This one, majority of it was inside of here. All in all, not bad. I mean, kind of quick shooting, still kind of getting used to it. Very nice, very nice. As you can see, the recoil that was physically being felt was very minimal. Uh, the first couple shots, I was trying to just get used to, um, you know, kind of how it was firing. And more importantly, I was trying to, um, you know, be accurate with it as opposed to really, really focusing on my grip just to kind of, you know, get a good recoil impulse. And that's something that you should practice with every gun. You should, you know, really practice what grip where you're gonna feel the le least amount of recoil and then start to focus on your trigger control and then try to focus on, on accuracy. And then once you have all that down and you really know, um, you know, all the fundamentals of how to manipulate that firearm to the best of your ability, because that's the thing here too. I mean, everyone can get online and see somebody who shoots these guns incredibly well and, you know, it looks like it has no recoil. And then you put the gun in your hand and it's a lot to control. That is really just the purpose of this channel. This is not tailored for anyone who's a professional shooter. This is for new people that are looking to get a gun. And I think personally, if you don't have a firearm collection and you buy this gun and you don't have it ported, you're probably not gonna have that good of a time. Now it is incredibly, for me, this is like an insanely accurate gun. I don't know why, um, but even before I had it ported, you know, if I was shooting 
on purpose to be accurate this thing is just ridiculous i don't know why um it's got it i think it has something to do with the grip angle um personally it just feels more natural in my hand um all in all i've had nothing but great experience with this gun i've heard nothing but people trashing online uh the trigger you get inconsistent trigger pulls every single trigger pull that i get has been fantastic so as you can see it has a um you know quite a bit of take up which i like and then a very definitive wall and then a tiny bit of creep we'll see right there okay and then a break and then reset is super small your creep and your break and every single trigger pull feels exactly the same for me so again we'll show it all the way up there a little bit of creep and break so all in all i have not had any of the issues they people complain because this this magwell is held on by this but as you can see if you actually pay attention to the side here they have grooves on the bottom and the underneath to where it slides in and it locks in on like a like a slot it like slides in and then this just secures it so it doesn't go forward so it has to go forward and it to be able to cut off uh to be taken off because of the ridges that they put on here i like the magwell i love the texturing i wish they would have kept this because it's so aggressive up here i wish they would have put a little bit of that more on the back this looks the same but it is a lot smoother now all in all that's good because you don't get a ton of wear and tear on the palm of your hands however it is not as uh it it just isn't i like the aggressiveness not everybody does but i really do so with that being said i wish they would have put that on there that's just a personal preference nothing wrong with the gun you can change the back straps and get whatever configuration you like you get um three different back straps you get four magazines out of the box Get a banging trigger i love that you get extended uh slide release and it also comes with the regular one in case you're left-handed you'll probably need that and you can flip it around um or unless you're not looking to sh you know change hands when you shoot or whatever um you know you can figure out whatever it is that you want to do if you do want to change hands i have seen a lot of people do bump this when they shoot left-handed um so you probably will want to switch out the the uh, extended mag release but it comes with it in the box you really can't complain i like it i won't change it this is like one of my favorite parts about the gun love that this has a ton this has been notoriously a big issue the uh, slide release or slide stop whatever you want to call it has been notoriously a big issue for mmp and on this one i think they did it wonderfully i have no issue getting that whatsoever i love this fiber optic sight more importantly um i don't actually think it's fiber optic because it glows in the dark which is really cool so i really like that um it comes armor cut um you know i'm really happy with this uh, along with the actual slide cuts uh it's about 175 dollars um they actually re dlc the barrel so as you can see i think today i put about 125 rounds through it and there's like almost no wear on the barrel whatsoever it's just dirty um so i was really really happy with that i think floyd's did an amazing job on this and i would recommend that if you do get this gun and i will do more round counts with this just right now i don't have a ton of time or ammo 150 rounds through it so i just wanted to cover you know some sort of reliability and i will do more uh, i'm going to completely wipe the counter down so let's just say we're at 125 i'm going to do about a 500 500 round uh review on this guy and then we'll go upwards of that um, try to get it you know closer to like 3000 and then we'll kind of filter you know come back through and see how uh the wear patterns are going reliability is going so far i've had no malfunctions with it um and it's been just a, a fantastic firearm i mean i cannot recommend this has got to be one of my favorites especially with that the the ports i mean it literally makes a night and day difference especially for how light it is like if you're gonna uh because there's a lot of people i'm a part of a uh competitor forum and there's a lot of people that carry these if you port this i mean it is just absolutely a demon it is so quick to return back to where it is because of the way that floyd's did this and i know they messed around with it in a few different configurations which is why i think it's perfect i mean they kind of did their own very thorough testing one to make sure you wouldn't melt your your uh front sight also just to you know completely make sure that you're getting optimum performance and reliability out of it i mean you know floyd's has been around for a long time they do a lot of mmp stuff when i, I had one of the first mmp um 
2.0s back in the day it was an mp40 like you know years and years and years ago when they just came out with the 2.0 i had one of those and floyd's was you know already starting to customize guns so i know that they've been around a long time i know that they do everything and they, i mean i'm pretty sure they cut them in house and i mean they're excellent with their communication hey we received your barrel hey it's back out for you know uh, we just shipped it back out because it's done um you know i cannot say anything bad about them the time was pretty long um i think it was right around two and a half months maybe to get this done however it was well worth it to me i mean before this to be honest i was considering selling it and now i absolutely will keep this there's no doubt in my mind um that i will keep this and there is just you know uh, just nothing but good stuff that i have to say about this gun so yeah thank you so much for watching next week i will do a comparison of this guy versus the x5 legion i have some range footage um, about how they both shot and you guys can make your determination on which one is a better fit for you um, keep in mind they're both right around the same price especially just considering um, even with this modification one you can find these um, a little bit cheaper the x5 legion is, is pretty you know much at msrp um, if you have the in at a local shop they might give you a discount but there's not really that much as far as discounts on those these you can get a little bit cheaper so all in all you can probably get in today's world if you find the right deal at the right time you can probably get this and that done for right around a thousand dollars which is just remarkable you have a little bit of a wait time but I definitely do think this one is is definitely a top contender in my book, especially with how it's set up. I really like it, and it's functioning. Um, it's functioning completely, um, you know, without any hesitation. So, take what you will from the video, and uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe.